Okay, folks, so it's another day, another M5 and another blown engine. And why I'm putting this one apart, I just realized this is the perfect opportunity that we have to talk about something that some of you have asked me before, which is the vacuum system on this engine. I'm talking about the vacuum pump, the vacuum lines, the vacuum reservoir, and the solenoids. Uh, there were a few people messaging me and emailing me before because it's very, very easy to get lost when you are either replacing or you servicing these hoses. They do perish over time, so it's not uncommon to see you having boost related issues because the hoses are cracked or they perished, especially on the early versions of the S63, which is the X5M, X6M. They do have some plastic teeth at the back here, which perish and, and cause a bit of a nightmare. Now, uh, one thing that is very important, I'm talking about S63 and S63 TU. On the newer engines, such as the M5, the F90 M5, both the S63 and the N63 TU4, they no longer have the vacuum in the engine. I mean, they still have the vacuum pump, but that's only used for the brakes, for the, for the servo and the hydraulics uh, or the brakes but not to control the waste gates and not to control the exhaust flaps any longer. That's all done electronically now. That is a 2015 M5, that is an LCI. And in this engine, what we are going to find is, well, first of all, we have a vacuum pump which has been removed. So I already removed the vacuum pump, it sits here and it does have two connections, one thick one which goes to the reservoir of the brakes and another smaller one which this hose connects to it. Now from this hose you can see that it runs down here parallel to the engine and it comes down to a metal little hose that is right there and from this hose you have a T. This T goes uh, under the to the reservoir so that plastic reservoir is your vacuum reservoir, it sits under the neath of the engine. That's for the TU engines. Uh, on the first S63 engines, you have two reservoirs on top. Uh, not the case for this one. From the reservoir, again, you have one little hose here that goes up and is run this side. And this connects to your strut over there. So that's the left hand side. I'll show you. Uh, it comes to this nipple right here somewhere oh here there you go it comes here that is what controls the flap of the exhaust when you press the button on your center console it opens up the vacuum lines and it retracts the flaps for the exhaust that's when you have uh, a noisier exhaust or, or, or a better sun let's put it that way but what we're most concerned about is not there. It is uh, these couple of hoses and these two solenoids right here. What they do is they control the flow of vacuum to the wastegates and the wastegates actuators. And because we have two turbos, these one control the bank one and these one control the bank two, as you might already know. And they, they, ha they do have two different connections. So what we have here, if you look on the solenoids, the best way to actually remember is you have one on the right side and one on the left side. So all that you need to do is remember the solenoid on the right hand side controls bank one, which is cylinder one to four. And the solenoid on the left controls bank number two, which is cylinder five to eight. Now, this is where the vacuum comes from, from the little canister or the little reservoir on the bottom. It has a T. This plastic T normally perish, so it's very, very, very common to find them cracked or, or, or leaking some vacuum. From here, it separates, goes to the front of the solenoid or to the back of these solenoids. And from here, you have another little hose, and this is where the solenoid open and close the flow of vacuum. And this one goes to the actuator of bank number two, which is that guy. And this one, which is, by the way, really perish. See how, how cracky and, and, and dry that is? This was supposed to be rubber. So we are going to be replacing this one. So this is for bank one. So whenever you're putting these apart, just remember to put the new ones in. That These are very inexpensive. You can buy these from the hardware store or, or the local car or, or enthusiast store, whatever it is. Here in Australia, I did buy a bunch of these. I pay, I think, $25 for, for a meter of hose and I replaced all of the hoses on the, on the X5M. I think it was just over a meter. But yeah, pretty plain and simple. The only thing that you cannot do is 
forget about this order and mix them up because if that happens your ECU or your computers on your car is going to try and control boost on one side of the engine and it's actually going to be limiting boost on the other side of the engine because as it closed one valve to reduce the boost on one side it's actually closing the other one so you got to be very careful not to mix them up other than that happy days and good to go so this engine is being rebuilt. It's going to be back on the road, hopefully, in the next uh, few weeks. So, Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video helps you. And if you like the S63 and N63 content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And DNL35, we have a bunch of videos on those cars. Thank you very much, and I'll see you guys next time.